Hello guys, my today's lesson is about Baker's cyst or popliteal cyst. Baker's cyst, also known as popliteal cyst, was named after the 19th century surgeon who first described it, Dr. William Moran Baker. Baker's cyst or popliteal cyst are fluid-filled lumps that form behind the knee. The knee joint is filled with a clear fluid, which is called synovial fluid, that acts as a lubricant to help reduce friction within the joint. Small fluid filled sacs called bursa cushion the joint and help reduce friction between muscle and other surrounding structures. When your knee produces too much synovial fluid, the excess fluid causes the bursa behind the knee to expand and bulge. This is a Baker cyst or popliteal cyst which can vary in size. When we see the cause of uh, popliteal cyst or Baker cyst, in adults, Baker cyst usually result from an injury or condition that causes swelling and inflammation inside the knee joint, such as osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and others. In response to this inflammation, the knee produces excess synovial fluid, which travels behind the knee and accumulates in the popliteal bursa. The bursa then swells and bulges, forming a Baker cyst. In younger patients and in pediatrics, Baker cyst often have no known cause, and it is idiopathic. When we see the symptoms of uh, Baker cyst, some Baker cyst causes no symptoms and are only discovered incidentally by the family or by the physician. When symptoms occur, they might include a feeling of fullness or lump behind the knee, knee pain, stiffness or tightness at the back of knee, and the swelling in your knee and the lower leg. If the cyst becomes very large, it can interfere with blood flow in the veins of leg and it can cause pain, swelling, weakness, or even numbness if there is nerve compression. Very rarely, the cyst can even breast and rupture. Regarding imaging for diagnosis, X-ray can show us narrowing of the joint space and other signs of arthritis in the joint. Otherwise, it is diagnosed by ultrasound uh, to see in greater detail and determine whether it is solid or fluid filled. Sometimes, MRI can be done. This is an X-ray of a patient with a, a popliteal cyst, the normal joint space on the uh, left side, and the joint with a popliteal cyst or a Baker cyst on the right side, which shows arthritic knee, shows severe loss of joint space. When we see treatment, the first line is medical treatment. Most Baker cysts will go away on their own within the six to 12 months of uh, onset for cysts that do not disappear initial treatment is always non-surgical in nature and they may include one or more of the following those include observation activity modification such as decreasing activity and avoiding high impact activities that retain the knee joint and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications can also reduce the pain and the steroid injection such as uh, trimsolonone in the joint uh, in the swelling in the baker cyst itself this causes reduction in the inflammation and the production of the fluid and it causes improvement in the both sign and the symptoms and also in the swelling. Sometimes aspiration is also important. The surgical treatment or arthroscopy or resection can be uh, needed sometimes, but most of the time it is rarely needed. Surgical treatment for Baker cyst is rarely needed. Most of them improve by themselves or with medical treatment with uh, observation and steroidal anti-inflammatory drug treatment and aspiration and also uh, corticosteroid injection in the cyst. Uh, however, it might be recommended if there is painful symptoms that are not relieved with non-surgical treatment or if the cyst returns repeatedly after aspiration. Uh, this is all about what I have a short summary regarding uh, Baker's cyst. Thank you for watching and also for subscribing to the channel. Have a nice time.